Hey, busy crafters, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning. Today we have the Spring Flowers collaboration hosted by Amanda with Six Kids and a Glue Gun, as well as Brenda with Rustic and Lace DIY. The links to their channels will be in the description box below, as well as the playlist, so go check them out. So today we are doing, of course, Spring Flowers, and you've been seeing this all over YouTube with the crafters. These are new to Dollar Tree, the little wood cutouts. I also found the Easter egg, as well as the carrot. So maybe next year, or this year, I don't know. Who knows? So I got those two um, candle holders from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm doing is I'm just Mod Podging it. Because they are glass, their paint won't stick very well. So while they are drying, because we are going to glue the paint to the glass, if you really actually think about it. <laughs> so while those are drying, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the chick and the bunny. I go ahead and take my folk art chalk paint in white and I paint both the um, chick and the bunny in white. I also paint the back and the sides as well. And then I use the back. I totally got mixed up and I used the backs. I did the front side that the, the paneling was on. I did two coats on that and one coat on the back side. And then I ended up using the back. So, yeah. So then I go ahead and Mod Podge them, and they turned out pretty cute. They kind of, because of them being on the back in one coat of paint, they kind of turned out a little bit velvety. So it was a happy mistake, and I'm good with that. So I got my Waverly chalk paint in moss, and I go ahead and paint one of them in moss. And that's where the chick's going to be. He's going to be on the moss ones. So... Then I, you see there, the rabbit actually looks a little bit velvety. And then when I get done with the chick, you know. So I'm going ahead. I, this is skipping all over the place. I Mod Podge them. Then I go ahead and lay down the tissue paper. This is regular tissue paper that I got from Rite Aid years ago. And then I go ahead and just scrape it off. So one candlestick got painted with Waverly chalk paint in moss. And the other one in Waverly chalk paint in ballet slipper. So once I get done doing this, I take off all of the excess. He kind of looked like he wasn't finished. So then I got that uh, yellow polka dotted ribbon probably about three or four years ago. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And so I just go ahead and use him to go all the way around. I go all the way around on... The chick, and then I also do it on the rabbit. The rabbit has a pink polka dot. It was very large. So what I did is I just cut it in half. And then, of course, put it on backwards. So this is kind of, you know, backwards craft. <laughs> I did not use the front. And um, with the pink ribbon, I did not use the front. So then I go ahead and take those styrofoam balls that I got from Hobby... Not Hobby Lobby. No, the Dollar Tree. Most of this is Dollar Tree. Yeah. And then I just go ahead and glue the chick down to the ball. And I wait for it to set. I'm not going to make you watch me hold it. But the glue was dripping down. So I just took a popsicle stick and then I just put it back on there. And he held up pretty well. They're still holding up. They're actually on my mantle now. So then I got those cattails. Those um, yellow cattails. My sister gave me some. But before she gave me some, I found some at the Dollar Tree. And so, yeah, I go ahead and use them. And then I use a whole pick on each one. So for the rabbit, I got pink. And then for the chick, of course, I got yellow. And then I go ahead and those purple flowers I got from my sister. Thank you so much, Jenna. I appreciate it. And I just go ahead and just start placing them all over the place. It's, there's no rhyme or reason. It's just wherever there was a spot. Of course, there's going to be a lot of spots. Um, these flowers go ahead and take up a lot of room. So the more room that these flowers take, then, you know, the less pick that you actually have to, uh, to use. And so I just go ahead. I believe, I believe she gave me two or three of these. And so I use one on, no, no. I think I use a little bit less than one on these because then I was going to be like oh yeah I need to put some other stuff in those I got from who knows I believe they were Walmart yeah and they're kind of a plasticky feel and that's fine 
So they have the yellow and the orange. And I thought it needed a little bit of pop of something. So that's why I put those in there. And this turned out really cute. But we're not done yet. So after I go ahead and place all these flowers around. Then I go ahead and I found these plastic egg garland at the Dollar Tree. There it is. And I just go ahead and take them off. And then I use the... See those? Instead of throwing them away, I just use them and I just hot glue them to the, the egg. And then I just go ahead and put eggs all the way around it too. So the chick gets egg. And the rabbit, instead of those purple flowers, the rabbit got tulips. Because, you know, the tulips are the best flower in the entire world. And I just love them so much. I wish I could have them, but gophers eat them. It's a delicacy for them. And I'm not supporting their bad habits. So, <laughs> not on my dime. So I go ahead and try to bring as much tulips in the house as much as much as I can. Especially during the spring. So the, I wish I had pink tulips, but all I had left was purple. So then there is, oh no, I'm not done yet. Nope, I'm trying to rush you guys. And so that, no. Well, the chick needed a little bit of something. So I take the riff raft or riff raft. Yeah. Riff raft. Sure. Riff rack. <laughs> and I just go ahead and put it all the way around the chicken's neck. And then I take the same bow that is around him or bow. I take the same ribbon all the way around him and I make a bow. And at first I was going to make a fluffy bow. But this did not have the wire inside. So I just did the awareness bow and then, or the awareness ribbon and then just crunched it in the middle and held it together with a white pipe cleaner. And then I put a, oh, I see the spot where it needed an egg. And then I take a flower, a little yellow flower that I got from Christmas years ago from one of my kids. I take a little turquoise Easter bead that I got from Michael's years ago. And then I wanted the ribbon to have a little bit more dimension. So I just go ahead and glue it to where it's like wavy. And then there's that. So here's the end product. The cool thing is the um, rabbit was kind of a little rough on the edges with the ribbon and everything. Which was kind of cool because the you're going to see right here, the paint kind of cracked. So it had a crackling. Um, see? It had a crackling effect. So the rabbit is a little bit more rustic. But, and then the rabbit got carrots as well. And I did the same thing with the bow. And so tell me what you think in the comments below. I want to take the time to thank every single one of my subscribers. You guys are the absolute best. And I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. So here's DIY number two. So I was watching Heidi Sanibel, I believe is her name. I hope I didn't uh, mess it up. The link to her will also be in the description box below. And... I will find the um, video where I got this from and it'll be in the description box below as well. And so what we're doing is what I saw her do is she made a picket fence out of these sticks. And so I had these sticks laying around and I'm like, yeah, why not? Um, hers is a bit different. She made hers more of a gate. I didn't do that. I just kept the picket fence. So we start off, I open up all packages and I believe there is nine altogether. Yeah. And we only had to use, I don't know, who knows. So I take those two sticks right there and I cut them down. And then, you know, those are going to be the cross boards. And then we take the, here's where I struggle like, okay, how do I do this? I don't know. But uh, then I realized, wait a minute, these are the cross boards. These are not the up and down boards. So here I am struggling. And then I was just like, you know, I'm just going to wing it. You know, with craft, all you have to do is wing it. And half the time when you wing it, it comes out absolutely amazing. So here I am lining them up. They are staggered. So, you know, you have the middle piece at the highest and then it kind of comes down. And I got them all straightened out and everything. And then I went and moved. Yeah, see, I went and moved them and didn't realize that I moved them. So now they're not like your dog can fit his head through that one piece. 
And I'm just like, oh, man. But, hey, you know, it's a wooden fence. And they're not perfect. So we just went with it. Because once I put down the crossbar, the first crossbar, that's when I realized that it was off. And I was all like, no. I think I kind of like, oh. Um, right about here. <laughs> I'm like, oh. But anyways, so we just went with it. And they're not straight. And that's okay. You know, um, it's craft. It's a DIY. And... You know, I figure if you can go to um, a retail store and pay, you know, $300 for a pair of jeans that have holes in them, then my crafts can be off, you know? Like, I mean, I wouldn't pay $300 for a pair of jeans, but that's just me. That's just me. I'd rather buy craft stuff. But, uh, yeah. So I go ahead and I paint this entire fence, front, back, sides, all the slats, everything with the Waverly White chalk paint. I only had to do one coat because I figured I'm going to distress it anyways. So I got a bunch of this Distress Oxide ink off of Amazon. It was way cheaper going through Amazon than actually buying them individually at the stores. Even though I like, this, I like going to the stores, I'm not really much of an online shopper. I do like going to the stores. I'm kind of old school, I guess. Just like when I read my books, I actually like books. You know, the paper and yeah. So I just go ahead and this is the very first time that I am using this ink. And I can see why all the crafters love this ink. The reason why I bought the ink is because we are having another collaboration coming up that it requires stamps. And I actually did not have stamps. I know a crafter without stamps, huh? Crazy. <laughs> but I have some stamps now and I'm going to make it work. So now I'm just taking off this bunny tail that they seem to put it on with like cement or something. That thing was refusing to come off. So I bought this bunny at Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99 but 40% off. And I was all like, yeah, like that big piece of a wood for like what, $1.49? Absolutely. So I bought two. And I also have a mason jar, which is going to be coming up in another video, probably in April. But, um, so I just go ahead and I paint this bunny, uh, with, uh, I believe two coats. No, no, I just do one coat because I'm actually going to be decoupaging it. So then what I do is I, of course, Mod Podge the whole bunny. And then when he dries, I do the technique that I like. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that there was not really glue on one side of his face. So it's kind of coming up a little bit. So just go ahead and make sure that you you know, did the whole thing in, you know, your glue. I was going to use that turquoise thing, but then, I don't know, the flowers caught my eye. And this is a Spring Flowers, D, you know, DIY. This is a Spring Flowers collaboration. So <laughs> I said, hey, why not? And I kind of like the pink too. Even though that turquoise, love the turquoise. My laundry room is actually turquoise. And so, yeah. So then I just go ahead and take my handy dandy miniature um, Cricut press and I just go ahead and reactivate the um, Mod Podge. And yeah, I glue that, ba that bad boy down. And this just turned out cute. Like, I really, this turned out really cute. And then so I go ahead and I just cut around the edges. This makes it look really easy. It actually isn't. This is sped up. But um, I had to go a little bit slower than this because... I was afraid of it ripping um, at the bottom. It kind of ripped a little bit. And then that's where I realized, oh, and then there was no glue there. So my bunny kind of got a little burnt cheek on the side, but that's okay. You can barely tell. He's fine, guys. He's fine. No animals were in the, no animals were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> so I just go ahead and take off the excess stuff. And then here we are with the blue polka dots. Wow, I just realized I have yellow, blue, and pink polka dot ribbon. Awesome. So I go ahead and I have so much ribbon, I don't even know what I have anymore. I do see a colorful um, zebra one right there with pink and blue and green. But um, yeah, I've been spending all day today getting my craft room, you know, cleaned up because I have crafts everywhere in this house. <laughs> so 
I go ahead and just cut them off a little bit. And then they were way too long for disappointing, so I had to cut them down even more. But those scraps, they look like little arrows, and I could use them for a card or, you know, another DIY. So that actually turned out perfect. So then I just go ahead and try to hot glue it down, but realize that my hot glue gun has been off. So I had to wait. So now I go ahead and I'm going to glue that down as well as stagger the bow because I kind of like that look. I've seen multiple different crafters do that and I just like the look. So then I got those from Michaels um, in I think November. So I just take off that little piece that are chalkboard and they're on a stand. It was really easy to just rip it off. And then here's where I put the little cotton tail back on as well as a little flower and a little gem in the middle. So then I take my um, chalk paint marker thingamajig that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I just put carrots, 25 cents. I was going to put a dollar because, you know, inflation, but we need to go back to our old roots, you know, where things were... I remember going to the store with like a dollar fifty and coming back with a bag of chips, soda, and a candy bar. <laughs> Yeah, those days are gone. So now I found these little carrots at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to glue one in there. But I noticed that these little foam carrots, they're miniature carrots, they're at the Dollar Tree. Make sure you check the little tops of them because the green leaves, they just fall out easy. Like, they didn't even try. So I just had to hot glue them down. Then I hot glued it to the side. So now that all of our pieces are together, we're bringing back the picket fence. And I just go ahead and glue the carrots 25 cents onto the picket fence made of paint stir sticks from Lowe's. And I place the bunny down. I'm like, yep, everything will work. But this is flowers, so we have to use flowers. So I got that lavender. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, I only buy their florals when they're on sale because if you don't, then... You kind of have to, you know, sell a piece of your liver or kidney or something. And I just don't, I don't like to be in pain, guys. <laughs> so I go ahead and I got those. And I go ahead and glue them down. I know I'm um, just about off screen, but when I push it up, I nearly knocked everything on the top of my desk over. Thank goodness there was a little shelf there to catch most of it. So I just go ahead and glue that down. And I just didn't want to do purple. So I got these little peach flowers. They're cute. I got them also from Hobby Lobby as well. This bouquet, the purple, these peach, they were supposed to go into my foyer because I was going to change the color of my foyer. But when I redid a TV stand into a bench and we decided to keep the bench and use it in the foyer, now it's, it's more gray in there instead of the purple and the peach. So why not use them for this? So I go ahead, and the bunny was just like, he was floating on the flower. So I just put a couple beads under his ears, and then I did one under his foot down there. And yeah, so he's kind of a 3D bunny, and of course he loves carrots, so he's trying to get in the fence. I have wild rabbits in my area. I have tried many times to garden. I love gardening. I love the fruits and vegetables. I have roses, I mean... I have what I can up here, but between the rabbits, the gophers, the chipmunks, the moles, the deer, the skunks, the raccoon, like everything, I I don't get my harvest. And the birds, oh my gosh, those birds, they will literally attack you for your strawberries and your boysenberries. I have a boysenberry bush, I don't get any of it. And then I had corn one year, and me and my husband were so excited over the corn, and uh, I had like three rows you know, a three by six rose and <laughs> yeah, the corn came in. I took a picture of my very first corn that I've ever, I've, I've ever grown. And, uh, yeah, I go out there and most of them are gone. I actually watched a gopher actually take a whole stock into his hole. It was crazy. And yeah. So until we move, I don't think I'm going to be able to do my vegetables, but there's the end product. Um, I put little carrots in there, and he's cute. But then I found my my little bugs. So I was like, it's spring. Like, right now, even though we have weather coming in, I literally see no ladybug out there. Um, I'm pretty sure it was wearing a jacket, though. But, um, yeah, there's a little ladybug out there. I thought spring is here, but then, you know, Mother Nature's threatening us with snow. 
So, uh, hope that little ladybug is okay. But then I just go ahead and put the ladybug on there and I put some bees on there because, you know, we need the bees to pollinate. And, yeah, so I think, I believe I used four ladybugs just in, you know, sporadic areas. No, no, nothing, just no rhyme or reason, just wherever I thought, okay, that looks cool. And then there's the end product. I have the bees in sporadic areas and then the ladybugs and then the the bunny. I did not put a hanger on it because I thought it was just going to sit up against the wall. But I also think I might put a hanger on it to, you know, hang it up outside somewhere. You know, when spring actually decides to come visit us. Again, I want to thank Amanda with Six Kids and a Glue Gun and Brenda with Rustic and Lace DIY. Thank you so much for hosting and thank you so much for having me on this playlist. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Thank you for watching and thank you for your prayers. I appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. And until the next one, I will, I will see you on the next one. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.